kindness and his uh, witty uh, comments that he makes every time he sees me at the races, which I won't tell anybody what, I actually, what he actually says. It's not very nice to others, but to me I don't care less. So, there's other people here, I guess, uh, that I don't see that much of, but I'm very proud to say that I'd consider them as a friend. If they needed anything from me, uh, apart from money, <laughs> I'd be more than happy to help them out in any way, and I've always done that, I think. Yeah. Next to Frank over see. there is Peter, Peter Scott, probably my closest buddy. Uh, Peter and I get together at least once a week, either at his place or mine. And um, we probably have too much to drink when we get together. And Peter is a little bit of a concern at times when he's driving out of my driveway. <laughs> Forward or back, I don't know which way he's going sometimes. However, he always managed to get home. He rings me the next day and he thanks me very much for the, the steak that's two foot long and all the, all, <laughs> Covered the food, in soot. all the food that he eats when he comes. <laughs> and then I go to his place every two or three weeks and he's just such a lovely bloke, Peter. If, if people haven't uh, met him already or people that do know Peter uh, know what sort of a man he is, a lovely man.